。好。Lei Jun was born on December 16, 1969, in Xiantao, Hubei, China. He showed himself to be a very intelligent boy at a young age. He graduated from Yanyang Secondary School in 1987. Later, he moved to Wuhan University. He graduated from a two-year university with a bachelor's degree in computer science. He managed to establish his first company in his last year of university. In 1992, he joined the Beijing-based software company Kingsoft Corporation, and by 1998, he had risen to become its CEO. He helped transform Kingsoft from a struggling company focused primarily on word processing programs into a financially stable firm with products that also included video games and computer security software. This was a great feat and made him rise faster in the tech world. In 2007, he led Kingsoft through its initial public offering (IPO), which raised nearly $100 million when the company was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It was unbelievable because this was a feat that the company never believed it can get to. But for some reasons best known to him, Lei Jun left Kingsoft shortly after the IPO, though he later rejoined its board of directors, and for the next few years he led a venture capital fund. In April 2010, Lei founded Xiaomi Corp with several partners, including former Google executive Lin Bin. While the company sold various electronics, it was especially focused on smartphones. Xiaomi was able to significantly undersell its competitors and thrive in the Chinese market. By 2014, the company's valuation of more than 46 billion dollars had made it the most valuable tech startup in the world. In April of that year, Xiaomi demonstrated the power of its brand when it sold 2.1 million smartphones online within just 12 hours, setting a world record for the most mobile phones sold on one online platform in a single day. By the end of 2014, Xiaomi had surpassed Samsung to become China's leading smartphone vendor. In an effort to continue Xiaomi's growth, Lei increasingly looked for opportunities to expand beyond China. In July 2014, the company began selling smartphones in India, which Lei described as Xiaomi's most important market after China. By May 2015, Xiaomi launched an online marketplace for customers in the United States and Europe, as initially it offered only computer accessories and fitness devices rather than its smartphones. In 2018, he oversaw the company's IPO, which raised about three billion dollars when it was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Xiaomi has managed to enter the record books by opening 500 MI stores in India in recent years. Xiaomi was also in the Guinness Book of Records, attracting all the attention with a giant Mi logo in India. He has a fortune of around 1 billion dollars as at the present time. He is a real money bags.